Mr. Carnahan is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair and, and Madam Secretary. It's great to have you back. Uh, just first want to say thank you for following up with uh, Co-Chair uh, Chris Smith, Chairman Smith and I with the Bosnian Caucus and those concerns that we had raised earlier. Uh, given the fact that they have the new government in place, uh, we hope that continued U.S. and international support can help move them forward. So first of all, thank you uh, for that. I um, also wanted to commend you on their recently announced international partnership, the Climate and Clean Air Coalition to Reduce Short-Term Pollutants. Uh, it underscores the global nature of the challenge, as well as the advantages to working with our partners at the U.N. and around the world. I wanted to ask, is that investment paid off in terms of stronger commitments uh, by developing countries? And can we, can we count on them to continue and fulfill those commitments if we are not honoring our pledges? Well, thank you for raising that, um, Congressman, because um, we continue to believe that uh, climate change and the consequences of climate change pose national uh, security uh, problems uh, to us. Uh, and so we are looking for ways to try to uh, move forward where we can and take practical uh, steps. Um, the fact is that the, uh, uh, the short-term climate forcers, things like methane, things like black soot or black carbon and soot, um, are more easily dealt with than carbon dioxide. Um, and I think that uh, what we've put together here, which is the Climate and Clean Air Coalition, has developed countries like Sweden, un underdeveloped countries like Bangladesh, developing countries like Ghana, uh, Canada, uh, and we've had a, a really positive response from uh, countries uh, around the world uh, asking how they can be involved. Uh, so we think this is a way to help uh, uh, cut down on about 40% of what the uh, uh, pollutants in the atmosphere are that uh, affects climate change. So we're going to be promoting uh, this uh, issue. Um, it's not as controversial. It's not as, you know, uh, far-reaching. We still have to deal with, uh, you know, the gas, the greenhouse gas emissions uh, and, and try to come to grips with, uh, you know, CO2, but it gives us something that people can do. And I'll give you a quick example. We have a global alliance on clean cook stoves. Uh, how women cook, about two billion of them around the world, uh, creates respiratory illnesses, puts a lot of uh, soot, black carbon into the atmosphere. If we can create a market for a more clean burning uh, cook stove, we improve health and we improve the environment at the same time. So there's a lot of win-win strategies that we're working on here.